Hello, accordion friends. It is I, Rowan Lipkiewicz. These days, when you see me online in an accordion context, it's usually because I'm getting ready to serenade you with an entry for my weekly Stupid Accordion Tricks video series. But before I did Stupid Accordion Tricks, I did the stupidest accordion trick of all, taking up Bruce Triggs on his invitation to co-found with him a weekly all-accordion radio program, Accordion Noir, at CFRO Co-op Community Radio, 100.5 FM. And yet, even after achieving that dubious feat, we still remained unsatisfied. Possibly because we were broadcasting from 2 to 3 a.m. in the morning. But we wanted more. We wanted live accordion music that we could attend in the flesh, participate and interact with, and so, we knew that the radio was just the first step. We needed to establish the Accordion Noir Festival. And, with the help of Jeff Berner, we did exactly that. Here we are now, 13 years down the line, kicking off the virtual edition of the 14th Annual Accordion Noir Festival. It gives me great pleasure and excitement to be making that announcement. Number four, I get too carried away. It's important. I need to acknowledge that we live, work, and play free read aerophones here on the unceded traditional territories of the Musqueam, Squamish, and Tsleil-Waututh nations. And we thank them for having cared for these lands and waters since time immemorial. This acknowledgement is a reminder of the discriminatory, racist, and colonial practices that have had a lasting legacy and continue to create barriers for indigenous peoples and communities in our region. For some exa excellent examples of these practices, uh, you could just uh, tune in to the opening of this past week's episode of Accordion Mark. Bruce really goes into it. If you, li you listen, you know what I'm talking about. So, it's a virtual festival again because Coronavirus management, inadequate. Was not safe to get everyone in a room together. Yet, who knows, maybe this time next year we'll all be in the Waters Hall. But for the time being, it's been tricky to find a safe way to get together and listen to live music. When the public venues are closed, because they're unsafe to be in, we have to do what we can to find well-ventilated places where we can be socially distanced and musical performances can take place. Uh, mostly, that meant we went to parks and we played music out of doors. And it was excellent. And you know, another safe way of listening to music remotely. So, there were a number of these small musical performances featuring accordions taking place in our squeeze box filled neighborhood and we undertook to get as many of them recorded and documented as we could in the interest of sharing them with you, our accordion fan base, uh, toward the end of the year. Well, now it is almost December, so we'd better get around to it. And so we have a big program for you today. A few notes. Traditionally, we have done our um, online streaming business through Facebook, which we've been torn about because there have been some big issues with doing it that way. This time, for a change, as you have probably noticed, we're doing it through YouTube as a video playlist that has some different pros and cons. But uh, if it works, if you show us some love, we will have to see about populating this channel with additional accordion video content. So please don't forget to comment, bellow, shake the thumbs up, and squeeze that subscribe button until you run out of air. Now on to our first set of performances. 
outdoors at the Copley Community Orchard on August 5th of this year. We've never had a chance to share their work with you before, but they're pretty fantastic. In the vein of uh, Morris Dance Ensembles, Suspiro Misterioso performs village dance music on acoustic instruments, garbed in a style reminiscent of the Venetian Carnival. Uh, it's a lot of fun, and I hope you enjoy this sampling of some of what they do. Uh, they do a lot more performances out there, so please uh, find them on their Facebook group to keep up with their activities. Thanks for joining us. There's a lot more coming.